How's it going YouTube? Kid Vape here again today, uh, bringing you a little bit of a juice review in this video. Uh, we're going to be looking into uh, the five bottle, basically the uh, gift box, I should say. It sells for $119.99 on uh, galleryvape.com, www.galleryvape.com, and the juice today is gallery. Outstanding, outstanding juice. Love the presentation. True wood. But what got me about this? When I slid it open, five bottles were. They're not in here now. They're sitting in front of me. But the bed of what this juice comes in is actual shredded U.S. currency money. $400 worth of U.S. currency. Smells like a nice stack of money I'd love to have had in my wallet. <laughs> but Gallery Juice, outstanding. $119.99 on their website, www.galleryvape.com. Enough with the box. Truly nice, though. Let's hop right into the juices. We'll go from reverse to front because the one that came that I first saw coming out of the box blew my mind away. Some people will like it. Some people won't, but uh, we'll start first with uh, Farmer's Daughter. It is a peach explosion with notes of cream. All these are going to be in 3 milligram, 30 mil bottles. You got Dorothy, Toto, and of course, what looks to be a cop. <laughs> Why a cop is checking uh, Dorothy's basket, uh, to hell if I know. <laughs> But anyway, today I'll be using it on the Fuchai 200 watt with the Fiono Type L RDA 13 wrap. And I'll be running at 100 watts at a .34. Let's try it down here on the uh, Farmer's Daughter. Smells pretty much like if you took a big bite out of a brand new peach. I mean, a fresh peach. Let's give it a little hit. The notes of peach are right there in the front of the palate. Outstanding uh, flavor once you first hit it. I do get subtle hints of cream, but not so much. It's more or less like a uh, infused peach. Um... Very, very good stuff. Seems to be uh, working pretty good for it, you know. Um, if you are a peach fan, you would love it, most likely. Um, me, I'm not truly much of a peach fan, but it is a very, very infused front of the palate, in the palate, out of the palate. Completely, I get a ton of peach. I mean, it is definitely a couple notes of cream, but a lot of peach. But once again, that was Farmer's Daughter by Gallery. Next up, we're going to do, uh, let's see, we'll go uh, Fresh Prince. Fresh Prince is basically going to be your uh, breakfast cereal. It's your fruity cereal is what they have uh, down on it. And that is Fresh Prince. Looks like we have uh, Al Capone possibly on there smoking his uh, cigar. <laughs> that uh, goes good with vape, I guess. Um, sure. <laughs> um, let's try that and see how it is. 3 milligram, 30 mil of... Fresh Prince. And uh, another thing about these bottles that um, I forgot to mention, they are hand-blown glass. I mean, I've looked at multitudes of them. They are completely different in shape. They are more concord, some of them concaved a little bit. But um, they are very thick, heavy glass. Fresh Prince. Let's try it up. Smells like a Fruit Loops, but a little bit, huh, a little bit like Fruity Pebbles a little bit. It 
It's definitely Fruit Loops. Not bad. Not bad. I, I don't get much of the lemon, you know, that you get in a lot of the Fruit Loops. I'm not seeing a whole, whole lot of the front and back palate taste or the mouthfeel of the lemons. I mean, uh, it's actually very, very good. And I'm a cereal guy, so I can be uh, very picky on my cereals. <laughs> it is <clears throat> a little bit lower wattage, I do believe. <laughs> on the uh, the big inhale there, I did taste a lot of heavy, heavy fruits. A lot of heavy fruits, which is very, very potent in the taste. But uh, I would recommend you run this in a little bit lower wattage. <coughs> Still good. Another thing about my videos, I do edit some of the lights, some of the things, but I never it actually edit any of my footage due to I like to be 100% real with my subscribers, with my viewers and everything, per se, like where I coughed. That will be in the final product, I guarantee it, due to it's what it done with me. I like to be true. I don't edit stuff, highlight stuff, make it look, you know, like we're on CNN or something, you know. I, I try to make it just like it's a normal vapor, trying to try stuff just like you would in your normal home or your office or, you know, wherever you may be. But that's just a little bit about me as I like to be more true. The next one we're going to do is, um, this is going to be a tropical fusion with heavy notes of sweet and sour pineapple is what they've got here. And that's, uh, uh, Bon Vivant. Might have pronounced the last name incorrectly, but we're going to go with Vivant. <laughs> Sorry, uh, you know, uh, Gallery, if I pronounced that wrong, but this country boy doing some reviews, so, you know, you go with uh, the little thing here. Love the colors in it. Picks up very vibrant. It's, it's vibrant. That's the word. Yeah. <laughs> that would be the word for it. Sounds very, 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 very good picture there. Love the colors. I do like my tropical stuff, though. Let's give us a little uh, drip here. That's very stout smelling. Very, very, very stout smelling. Very tropical. I don't get a whole lot of heavy notes. They're more subtle, subtle notes of the... If Jolly Rancher had a pineapple, it would taste like this with a little more tropical fruit behind it. I get a lot of sweetness, not much sour. I do get a lot of tropical fruits, though. I mean, I'm picking up quite a bit of stuff. Tastes very, very good. The pineapple is definitely the number one in it. It's probably the base of it. Very good. Oh, and all these juices are a 70-30, 70 VG, 30% PG. So that'd be perfect on a drip as I'm doing here or vice versa in a tank. I uh, prefer a sub tank. I believe you'd get the uh, the proper notes to it just like you would on a drip. Uh, very, very, very nice though. Very nice. The Vibrant is good. Next, we're going to go with Delirium. Delirium is going to be more like your Hawaiian beverage, like Pog, if y'all are familiar with it. It's going to be a little, uh, kind of like a uh, Aloha, you know, Hawaii flavor, a straight up, 
islandy. You know, let's give it a little drip as soon as I show you the ball here. The label really does not remind me nothing of Hawaii. But, um, sure. That's going to be your delirium. And uh, the juice is pretty solid looking. Does not remind me of Hawaii, though, but it is very unique. Very unique. It reminds me more of a African Sahara type, kind of French sign. I mean, do you get kind of Frenchy from the uh, the stash on the uh, gentleman in the sign there? I believe I do. I'm gonna give us a little uh, little taste here. And I do have two Fu Chai's and two uh, Fiano type ales, and I am switching vice versa. You know, just uh, where I don't have to clear and, you know, fog the whole room, which I do have, you know, a Class 3 ventilation that does pull it out fairly well. But um, we like to keep it, you know, as, as best as we can. Yeah, that's, that's, that's very unique. Yeah, this is going to appeal to the people who uh, like a unique tasting, really not a lot that I vape that tastes like this. I have actually drunk a pog before. <coughs> It does remind me of a pog a lot, except for it has like a really stout tongue taste. Like, um, yeah, it's it's just like a drink. I mean, that taste stays right on your tongue. Makes the pores of your tongue just kind of dance. <laughs> that makes kind of sense, you know, but... <sighs> Yeah, that's that's going to be for the unique person. Uh, not really my cup of tea, but you know, uh, I'm just one person here. Yeah, that's that's uh, delirium. It's uh, very unique, and uh, I believe you might go on a trip with that one because it's uh, it's a little out there. Very islandly, you know, uh, the island taste and smells like you know something from an island, but. The pog taste, it was a little bit more mellow than that juice, but I can see where they're coming from. And the last of the five, this is the one when I opened the box that really took me for a spin. It blew me away. And I don't know if this is their you know, official label or if this is what they're working with now, but uh, it would appeal to a lot of collectors, a lot of people that love putting the bottles up on the shelf because there is no bottles on my shelf. Over 5,000 juices I have. There is no label that is like this. It is, uh, I'll just show you and let you see and see what you think. Very, very, very unique. Very very sexy, but very unique. And this one is going to be an aged Kentucky oak bourbon barrels with a sweet and salty caramel treat. It will leave you dreaming of bourbon and custard. Let's get a little drip of it. Let's see uh, what we think of it here. I'm going to put a little extra on this one, you know, because uh, I've always been partial to a lot of the, the bourbon, you know, whiskey flavors, just because there's not a lot of them out there. They're more, you know, um, you run across them occasionally, and when you do run across them, of course, everybody will try them. Just because there's not a lot of it out there, there's not a lot to uh, be seen or tasted of it. But uh, let's see what she smells like. No pun in ton intended there for uh, she, but... Smells like like a shot of liquor. I mean, like straight up shot of liquor. Let's try it. It 
I'm going to stick with this one for a minute. This has got a lot of depth to it. I definitely taste the aged like bourbon taste, but it's more on the sweet side that oh no, bit hit. No. Nah, it's it's bourbon. It's it's straight bourbon. It's tasted sweet when I first blew out, but then the flavor caught up to my palate. This is very unique. Good unique. This actually kind of burns. Kind of burns your mouth like you're taking a shot of whiskey in the back of your throat and tongue. My tongue is kind of on fire right now. It, it, it's it's tingly very much so. Um, it is it is very good, very good. I've tried a few of the bourbons, you know, around uh, different, you know, various vendors, very uh, different perspective on uh, juices. This one really, really took me for a spin just then, and I, I can't get enough of it. It definitely has a burn to it. And it's not nicotine burn because it, it's definitely in a three. But that is very, very, very good. If you like the oaky, like straight bourbon liquor taste, you are definitely, definitely going to like it. And I'm going to put these bottles back in the uh, packaging where I can show you what they looked like when they came to me. Make sure all the lids are on. But uh, I believe out of all those, my favorite one was probably the Fresh Prince due to I am a cereal type fan. I do like the sweets. But the most unique out of all of them, minus label, minus bottling, minus all of that appeal, would have to be the Penthouse Dream, which I don't believe I told you the name of that. That is Penthouse Dream right here. Kentucky Inside. Sexy Outside. Penthouse Dream is a perfect name for this juice due to a lot of people. Of course, you're going to go to bars, you're going to meet and greet people, and you're definitely going to uh, enjoy the night with a bourbon. Let me show you what she looks like here. Very, very nice. Very nice shelf appeal. Very, very nice. Also came with a flavor card. The flavor card on the back of it looked like this. Welcome to the gallery with penthouse, you know, uh, dream on them. The vape I am vape. And the back is the flavor profile. Very, very nice also. Has a picture of all the bottles, all the logos, and a good profile uh, wording of all of them. And, uh, I believe that to be a uh, very, very nice set, actually. It retails for $119.99 on their website, which is um, galleryvape.com, www.galleryvape.com. Uh, or you can buy the bottles individually without the box, you know, just the bottle coming in a package to your, uh, you know, uh, for delivery for you. Uh, they do sell for, I believe, $19.96 was the uh, initial price on them. Um... So basically, a uh, hundred dollars or a hundred and per se twenty, you know, uh, for the the set. I'd recommend everybody get the set just because it does have that uh, appeal, that good shelf appeal, you know, and uh, vice versa, just the looks of it. And I mean, that is that is very very nice. Once again, Gallery E Liquid, Gallery E Juice, however you per se it, Gallery. We'll just say that. $120 for this. For the normal vapor, probably buy the bottle would be best. Uh, for the collector, someone's going to put it on a shelf for a view or anything of that nature, definitely, definitely pick up the set. I mean, $120, you really can't go wrong with it. You know, it is very nice shelf appeal, very nice looks, uh, very good juice. I would say out of the juice, I would rate the whole package together uh, 1 to a 10 on price, quality, bottle, looks, taste, everything. I would give it an 8 out of 10, and that would be a solid 8 out of 10. But uh, it's definitely, definitely worth your time to try it out. 
uh, definitely go over to uh, galleryvape.com and check it out and see what you think of it. You know, uh, Kid Vape approves, so maybe you do too. But um, yeah, it was a, a pretty good re review there on that juice. I enjoyed it thoroughly, really did. But I, you know, as always, Kid Vape says keep it cloudy. Do what you got to do.